moving to the sunniest country in Europe is definitely alluring, but is it really as good as it seems? We investigate further by speaking with locals and foreigners to find out more about the negative side of living in Portugal to see if moving there as a family is something we really want to do. As the newbies played such a huge role in convincing us to move out here, we thought who better than to come out and get the other side of things and find out some of the negatives of living in Portugal. So the last time we came, you won us over, like having mm -hmm. us here. On this visit, we're trying to get more of a sort of balanced perspective. So what would you say is like the main negative of this whole experience of having the place here? I would say sometimes yeah. the Portuguese work differently from the, the people in the UK. We had that tree cut down over there mm -hmm. or the electrical company came and, and chopped the tree. In the UK, for, for, for somebody to come onto your land, they've got to send you a letter or give you a call, or they can't right. just rock up and start chopping trees down. Yeah, and of course. In Portugal, they can. Yeah, the only reason I knew that the, that the electrical company were here originally was because oh, our security yeah. cameras caught them wandering around. So they just came onto your land? They just came on, and I, I think that's perfectly normal here in Portugal, and so I've been told. So I made plum gin. I've never done anything like this before in my life, so I have no idea what it's wow. like, but I thought maybe we could try it. So something that's obviously playing on our minds with the whole idea of moving here is what's it going to be like raising him in yeah. a foreign country yeah. in, with a foreign language, uh -huh. and also in terms of schooling and stuff like that? It's a good question. I don't, we definitely don't have all the answers. Um, and yes, we definitely have like doubts. The, 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 the first thing I suppose is being away from friends and family is really tricky because you don't have any support. Our community is incredible. Mm. Our neighbors and stuff are incredible and the support from them has been next level, but we don't, you know, it's that, just that little, that extra level that having family nearby would have. Yeah. The school question, I don't know what the answer is yet. We're kind of considering all options. Crusoe, don't pick no up, please. Um, <laughs> we're considering all options, like homeschool is definitely an option. And I don't, we don't have the answers because they're still so little, but we have got friends here who are also English who are putting their kids through school and stuff and they're super happy. Mm -hmm. The kids are really happy. The school has been amazing. I Hard guess it's probably exactly a mental barrier a lot of it, isn't it? Because yeah, like yeah. you say, like if the kids are Just happy, what does it matter? Exactly. But also, also, I mean, it's really important to, you know, YouTube has this has this wonderful way of making everything permanent. So mm. you buy yourself a house in Portugal and suddenly it's your forever home, which is preposterous. When was the last time, especially you guys? Yeah that you were in one place for long enough to say that it was for forever. Yeah. And the idea of it being forever is a really <laughs> romantic idea, but Noah's what, six months, seven months old now. Yeah. You know, in five years time, when it's time for him to go to school, yeah. who knows where you are? We're very aware that this decision doesn't just affect the two of us. So we're really slowing down and taking our time to make sure that we make the right decision for our family. Good morning from the farm. I have to say there's something so lovely about waking up in the tranquility of nature with the sound of chickens in the background or specifically the cockerel. <laughs> the thing I'm trying to get my head around is putting myself in a place like this every day. Like so when we're coming here as friends or as tourists, it's so alluring, it's very magical, it's very exciting. Mm. But would this fulfill me every single day because I am someone that always needs something new and would this keep my brain occupied? What, having to go get your own fresh eggs every morning for breakfast? Sounds terrible. I mean, it sounds wonderful, <laughs> but, but realistically for me, I is know. it wonderful? So we are doing one of the morning chores on the farm, which is to let the chickens out. Attack! Free the chickens! Are there any chores living on the farm that you just absolutely hate and you wish you didn't have to do? Well, I think John would say managing the water because that's really complex. Like, Is it? Our water's off grid and there's like well water, spring water, you've got to manage what's coming in when. Oh, and he spends like hours running around the farm trying to make sure the water's flowing in the right direction. Is that like a daily thing that you have to keep on top of? Oh, wow. <clears throat> yeah. Um, for me, I think it would be cleaning the chicken coop. Yeah. Oh yeah, cleaning it really, doesn't really sound like... very nice. <laughs> <laughs> the 
reason a rural property like this has been so alluring to us is the nature and exploring that we would be able to have right on our doorstep, especially for our son, Noah. Everywhere you walk, there <laughs> seems to just be kind of abandoned properties here. Look at this place. Incredible, isn't it? Oh, so many little beautiful little houses. Yeah. And then you've got the view over there. It's pretty epic. Mm. I have a personal question to ask that something that actually worries me yeah um, is having such a big project what a strain that would have on our relationship yeah yeah do you know what though I think the biggest strain on a relationship is having kids <laughs> yeah it's a huge shock to the system it's a huge shock to a relationship and to a marriage yep all of a sudden your focus it's is not, on something else yeah and it's not about yourselves or yeah. each other anymore no exactly so we we're like in the process of navigating that with two kids yeah like navigating making sure that our marriage and our relationship stays sound in amongst yeah. also the chaos raising the of kids life and the chaos of what life is yeah. at the minute. So it's definitely something that we ha we're learning to be really yeah. aware of, you know, okay. and look after. But you're so smashing hopefully it. that will well we well, have from our the outside. days. <laughs> <laughs> we have our days. But I think um yeah I think you as long as you're aware of that that needs to be protected. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I think you guys are, you know, we've had conversations that you you talk about your relationship and that how you know, you, you know that that needs to be built Yeah, after. it's a very solid foundation for exactly. us. Everything else could be built on it from exactly. there. Exactly. I and think if you forget that it's something that needs to be cared for and nurtured, mm -hmm. then you will lose it in amongst it all. I don't know why, but we have such a strong craving to find a home near the water, whether it's a lake, a beach, or a river. So cool. yeah. We truly enjoy the feeling of being at home in this kind of calm and tranquil environment. We just can't decide if we want to have this kind of place for living full time or just as a holiday home. I think like one of the main things that worries us with getting a place like this is that we want to keep traveling. Yeah. I think that's a big part of sort of our life going forward that we don't want to just cut out. Yeah. So firstly, is it possible mm -hmm. for you to just leave for like a month or mm -hmm. three months or something like that? And if it is, what are like the things you have to actually put in place and plan for? Can you just up and go? So we are actually planning to up and go at okay. the end of the year. Okay. So um, we are putting plans in place. I think you can be quite creative with it. Like there's amazing um, websites like Trusted House Sitters where you can get people to come and look after the farm for you. For if you left it for like three months, what would the farm look like? Depends on the time of year. Like if you left it in the spring, we would yeah. come back and it would be bedlam. Mm -hmm. If you left it in the summer, everything would be dead. Okay. And if you left yeah. it in the winter, I think it'd be all right. So like winter's a good time for us to go away. Mm. If you did stop traveling yeah. and you said, okay, this is home mm -hmm. and my forever home and I'm never going to go anywhere anymore. You'd just be miserable. Yeah, exactly. exactly. You know, that's, that's so yeah. you, you gotta, you gotta do yeah. what makes you happy. Even if there is an element of sacrifice yeah. for exactly. the other life that you've perfect. got. And where week. could these guys find you? Where can they watch you? Oh, for our travels? Yeah. We are, thank you very much for asking. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I didn't tee you up with that at all. <laughs> well, thanks, Alex. <laughs> Um, we are. We have started a new channel, and it's called the Newbies Explore. But that's where you'll be able to watch our travel videos. Our homestead videos will remain here, and we will keep on releasing twice a week. Well, that's our time. We have to leave, unfortunately. We've had a blast with you guys, as always, and Dude. we'll be back. Thank you so much. Yeah, oh, come here. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. Do you want our baby, oh, or yeah. we'll take him back? <laughs> we'll keep him, Noah. Yeah. Yeah. I think Chris will be devastated if you take him. <laughs> Bye. Bye. See you next time. See you next time. Bye. <laughs> As we're considering moving here, we wanted to get a better understanding of life in Portugal from a local's perspective. So we have arranged to meet Mariana, Porto local, to learn more about this beautiful city. We booked a private tour using Get Your Guide, who have partnered up with us for today's video. Get Your Guide provides experiences by knowledgeable local experts and offer over 60,000 curated experiences in over 3,600 destinations. So Alex and I have been traveling around Portugal basically trying to figure out <laughs> if we want to move here. What about Porto? Why would Porto be a good place for us to move to if we were to choose it? Oh, I might be biased but <laughs> Porto, I don't know, there's something very unique about this city. The app and website are really easy to use. All you have to do is search the country or city that you're going to and it comes back with a list of experiences to make your trip a more memorable one. 
The tickets are all done online or through the app, so no printing is required. You also get 24 seven support and free cancellation up to 24 hours before. If you're interested to see what experiences Get Your Guide offers for your next destination, be sure to use our link down in the description for a 10% discount. We have driven a couple of hours down south to come and meet another couple who have actually immigrated from the US and have been living here in Portugal in a far more rural area than we've been to before but this is actually much closer to the area that we're looking at buying and find out what it's really like to live in a place that is so rural out here. What would you do if we rocked up and they were just naked? <laughs> Like, oh yeah, sorry, forgot to mention when you just... There's definitely a chance, they are our subscribers. Yeah. I mean, and we don't know them. We've made a few nudist videos, so you never know who we've picked up along the way. Yeah, uh-oh. <laughs> yeah, we haven't met a subscriber in a while. No. So hopefully this goes well. If it goes well, we'll meet more of you. <laughs> if it goes badly, we'll never see you again. It's all on you guys. <laughs> Hi, nice Hi, to meet I'm Bill. You. Hi, Bill. I don't know who he looks more like. Who do you look like? Your mommy or your daddy? We're excited to find out. Maybe uh, one day we'll know. <laughs> <laughs> How long have you guys been here? So we moved to Portugal in 2019. We okay. lived for um, two years in Lisbon. Okay. And then two quarantines uh in a small apartment in lisbon kind of ended that experience yeah yeah i can imagine and so we've been out here for two years now wow nice this is your atvs our atvs very cool marcus <laughs> said you wanted to go for a ride i would love to <laughs> okay. i'd love to so this so is our this house is yep it goes to the wall there down to the bio pool down to the dirt road where you came in hi Hello. Oh, I love the little toy. This is so European. Hey, thank you. Nice to, nice meet, to you. meet you too. Oh, oh my goodness. This is really nice. Wow. What a kitchen. We walked in and we're like, this is the one. Bill and Marcus have a beautiful traditional style home nestled in a quiet, picturesque village. Seeing their place definitely helped to expand our ideas of what a home in Portugal could look like. It's a total of 2,700 square meters. You know, while you're looking, I don't know if you've purchased it or not, but while no. you're looking, land equals work. Yes. Yeah. Less That's land is better. Mm. I'm just telling you now, especially if you guys travel a lot, which obviously you do. If, if you were to just leave this place for three months, would it be carnage? Three weeks. Three weeks. <laughs> if you're not like in it, trimming, pulling weeds, doing this, doing that. Yeah. And in, in the summer, it's not so bad because it's very dry. Yeah. yeah. But nine months out of the year, things are just like growing. We just said today to ourselves, like, ugh, we have to weed again. Same with the bio pool. It is work. So if you want to keep the water clear, yep. it's work. If yeah. you got nothing to do, we're retired. Like, whatever. <laughs> yeah. What do you think is a manageable amount of land for a family that want to travel? <laughs> In my opinion, I wouldn't get more than 500 square meters of actual land wow. because that's something yeah. that you can easily pay somebody to take care of. Mm -hmm. You have a few, yeah. one or two fruit trees just to, to have them. Yep. Right. And then you have some exactly. flat land that you, the kids can run around on or whatever. Yep. It's easy to mow, easy to trim, and it'll be simple to find somebody to pay to take care of it when you're not around. Yeah. So this is a bio pool. What makes it a bio pool? Well, the fact that it's cleaned by plants and um, constantly moving water. Yep. Um, so there's no chemicals used at all, yep. which is definitely a benefit. Is it easier than a swimming pool? More more difficult. <laughs> Marcus probably spends an hour every day. Um, in the summer, in the height of summer. summer yep. right. Cleaning out algae. We actually have a vacuum that takes care of the bottom of the pool. Yep. Um, so um, managing the plants, it's kind of a science. Mm. There's a lot I to learn, imagine. a huge learning curve. I love it. I really love how natural it looks, you know, it's not just like the, it almost when you have the, the bright blue pools in this kind of environment, it doesn't, it sticks out like a sore thumb, right? It's it doesn't blend in. in. Whereas this is very in keeping. I have to ask you guys something. What is the worst thing about living here? Does anything come to mind instantly? Like the there's language. so many positives. The language? It's the difficult. The, the, the difficulty of the language, yeah. Mm -hmm. and, in a way it isolates you because yep. you don't understand jokes or nuance mm -hmm. or slang words sometimes yep. you know do you drift into an expat community by accident in that sense you can you have to be careful not to yeah we really try not to mm -hmm. um it's an effort like you really have to yeah. make time to 
develop Portuguese relationships, mm -hmm. which I think we've done a pretty good job. We in. have. And, yeah. and what I found is that so many Portuguese people have left this country to go find work because the economy is tough here, to yeah. be frank. So because they have been in that position themselves where they've been the newcomer in another country, when they come back, those people are really easy to make friends with because oh, they know wow. where you've been. But people of all ages have been very welcoming. Oh, no doubt. Uh, with yeah. open arms. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah. just, uh, it's really amazing. Yeah. And you know, the word immigrant in the U.S. is kind of turned into a dirty word. Yeah. I prefer to use that word than expat mm -hmm. because expat seems to have some entitlement attached mm -hmm. to it. There's some connotations where, that are... Where immigrant feels a little more... I don't know like we're here to stay yeah like, we want to integrate we want to become part of the landscape and yeah. the only way to do that is to really embrace what's going on around you the expat to me feels like oh, i'm there for seven years and i'm gonna go back yeah exactly. as soon as the tax benefits are over i'm going back home like that's yeah. not us yeah we want to actually live here yeah we're here for the full time long mm. so you're not going back home no, no. <laughs> no. to the you know chagrin of some of our friends and family yeah. But they are more than welcome to come visit us. We have a guest house. Stay in we our guest house. <laughs> what are you feeling about buying land versus a property at the moment? <laughs> I think it's just constant recency bias, to be honest. Because now that we're here and we're in like a, this cute little village, I'm like, oh, wouldn't it be nice to be in a nice little village rather mm. than completely on our own in the middle of nowhere? Yeah. I really like this kind of vibe, the cobbled streets, the lovely stone houses. It might be nice to have a little community. Mm. So this comes with like 700 square meters of land that okay. goes between here and the main road. And we look at it as it's perfect to just wall it off, put a pool and parking in the middle. Yep. So how much would this cost? It's roughly 30,000. 30,000. This building here is another urban article and that's included. But that could easily be guest accommodations or something. Or, oh, wow. And the, the township here is very the township the camera here is supposedly very um forgiving and looking to work with people that want to move here okay. so if you want to do it this would obviously need a project you know yeah. like to, to do any major renovations yeah but, but having the habitation license is half the battle you know yeah. exactly so. so you have the habitation license to do that they would be probably inclined to work with you on a project for the rest of the day, I am going off with Marcus on the ATV to go and see the local area, see if this is a place that we would be interested in living. Emma is staying by the pool. Yeah, I'm going to stay with Bill by the pool with Noah and we're just going to relax. popular spot with locals uh very much so popular spot with locals packed in august can't get in here mm -hmm. but um luckily because we live here we can come out off days yep. and whatnot it's absolutely beautiful uh they dam up the river and make a swimming spot what are the odds zero <laughs> I don't have the tire repair kit in this one, it's in the other ATV. <laughs> hey Taylor, going my way? At least it didn't burn to the ground. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for having us. Oh. It's our so pleasure. nice to meet you. Your yeah. place and your village. Oh, it's yeah. our pleasure. Oh. Yeah, well done on creating such a lovely life here. Yeah. It's, really, it's, it's always good to see it through somebody else's eyes too, because sometimes when you've been here a while and you're doing projects and you just, you know, yeah. it's crazy, and then you see somebody else go, "Wow!" You're like, "All right, it's yeah. worth it." Yeah, yeah, yeah. It makes yeah. it worthwhile. Yeah, yeah. All the crazy yeah. projects and the, mm -hmm. the stress of like <laughs> spending eight months to get a new roof put in. <laughs> <laughs> Our time spent speaking with people who live here has really helped us to get a more rounded picture of what moving here would be like. This is such a life-changing decision that we definitely won't be rushing into. <laughs>